Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just gonna do a little makeup video. I got this eyeshadow palette from my friend Gabby. So shout out to Gabby. She's giving me so much makeup. It's actually ridiculous, but she got me this eyeshadow palette by Kaleidoscope. Um, it's the Futurism 6, I think. Lunar Lavender is what it's called and this is what it looks like i have used it freaking obsessed um but yeah so i'm just gonna do this little look with this i love this palette and like the packaging is super cute and like i like the little like folding it out and like ooh. anyways um yeah so let's get started so first what i'm going to do is i'm gonna use the pure form one correcting primer Ooh, that was kind of a lot um normally i don't use that much but that's how much came out also ignore the eyeliner on my hand i was looking at the color to see if i wanted to use it today and i still can't decide I can't believe I just put all that on my face. What the heck was I thinking? My skin has been super oily and then like recently it's been breaking out a lot. But I mean, I've always been kind of oily, so. But also I keep getting pimples and stuff and yeah. My skin's been freaking out. I kind of want to try Curology. Um, okay, and now I'm going to do my mattifying primer from L'Oreal Infallible. Um, I kind of want to get the matte um, putty primer from e.l.f. Because I have the normal one and I love it, but um, I don't know, it's just not. It's like my face is too oily for it, so I'm just doing the L'Oreal one, my T-zone. Cause that's where I get the most oil. Now, I'm gonna go in with concealer on my little blemishes. Um, I'm just using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Yeah, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade 20C. I think. Wow. Gorgeous. I have not been doing my makeup that much. I mean, I've been doing it a few times more recently. But still, like, not nearly as much as I used to. And I kind of miss it. I also just, like haven't been uploading videos and i've been kind of like i don't know i feel like it's because i'm so hard on myself that i expect it to be like the big youtubers you know like nikki tutorials level but like i'm a small youtuber i don't have the money for the equipment for that like i need to stop being so hard on myself i don't know why i do it but and so then it kind of puts me off from making videos because it's not, it doesn't turn out how I picture it. So I'm going to stop putting so much pressure on myself to do that kind of stuff and just like make videos for fun, like how I started. And just go from there and keep it chill. I don't know why I yelled that. Now I'm using the Pretty Fresh. ColourPop foundation, Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, which I know because of my oily skin, I like pro I shouldn't be using this. And I got the matte one, but like it kind of sits on my skin a bit weird, especially right now since my skin is, it's like so te textured right now. So I just, it's, it ain't it. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going out anywhere. I'm not planning on wearing this, like, all day. This foundation is so much prettier on the skin. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the same concealer. Okay. 
Why do I keep doing that? Now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I'm gonna take this like brush and I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm gonna blend my the concealer on top of my lids a little bit more before I set them. Now I'm gonna take a bigger brush and use the same powder and just set the rest of my face. All right, now I'm super powdered down. Now I look super pale. Let's do my eyebrows first. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Chocolate. I'm gonna start trying to upload more again. The last video I uploaded was um, like my pick line and my G-Tube and all that. Um, Still have my G-Tube. I had an MRI the other day to see if we could figure out why I still keep getting infections. I'm over these infections. I have another one right now. We're waiting on the test results before I get put on another antibiotic. Okay. Now I'm going to take the JC's Journeys palette from XNL Cosmetics and I'm going to use the YouTube one. I don't think this palette is going to be available to buy anymore though. So I'll just use a red eyeshadow. Um, and I'm going to put them in my brows. I'm going to take like a flat like liner type brush. I don't know if you can tell, but um just put some of the YouTube color on it and brush through and then it kind of tints it more red. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Tardiest Pro Glow, Glow palette um, in, I think it's back, yeah, in Backstage. Um, it's just a bronzer. It's this bottom where you can like, this is so dirty, you guys. I use it all the time. It's this one. Um, I kind of angle my brush like this and just like, why does it look so? Okay, on camera it looks really orange. In person it doesn't look that orange, but weird. It might be from the light. Oh my god, it looks insane on camera. What? In person it doesn't look like that. What the heck? Um, and then I'll do a little bit on my forehead. And then I do it on my temples. And then I'll do a little bit on my jawline. Okay, so I have like a fluffy angled brush. I'm going to use this one for the sides of my nose and then this one for like the tip. I'm going to take that bronzer again. Wait, I should have cleaned that off a little bit. And then I'm going to take the smaller one. This gives the illusion of like that button nose. And then I put some, and kind of just like make a circle, like an oval. And then blend. I'm going to use the blush it from uh, here and it's dance floor. There's two, there's like a lighter pinker one and this is more like purpley. I'm gonna use that one. And I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush and put it right here. And then blend it out. I'm going to do a little bit on my chin, my forehead a little bit, and then I'm going to take a little bit and do it like that. 
I'm gonna put some highlight on my face now. I'm gonna use a um, tapered highlighting brush. And I'm just mixing the two highlights from the Tarte palette. It's like a pink and then a more golden champagne color. I mostly stick with the golden champagne color. Like I dip into that the most and then I do a little bit of the pink. And then I'm gonna use a smaller flat brush. Mix those color two shades, two highlights. And just do it on the tip of my nose and then right here. And then on my upper lip, the cupid's bow. Um, and then I'll also put some more on my brow bone after I do my eyeshadow. Just taking like a tapered fluffy brush. So first from this palette, okay, I actually don't know which one it is. It's either Nocturnal or Crater Grove. But on this, it's the lighter brown and I'm just gonna put that all in my crease. Well, I could just do this for like on a simple everyday look, like quick, just it's really pretty and it blends super nicely. Now I'm going to take a pretty fluffy brush, like that's more flat though, and I'm going to take that same color and just do the bottom lash line. I'm gonna make it smoke down pretty far. So now that I did that, I'm gonna take another, I'm gonna take this, like just, it's just like a fluffy brush. And I'm going to take the lighter matte purple shade, this one. And I'm going to build it up quite a bit on the brush. It's actually and just put that all up in here. Brushing away any fallout. See, these, this palette does have fallout. Warning you guys if you want to end up buying it. Um, but it's like not so bad that it like gets stuck to your skin. You know, like it ruins the rest of your makeup. Like it's easy to brush off. Okay, now I'm going to take that same brush I used before with that brown shade. I'm going to use that purple, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to go as low. And now I'm going to take this brush, and I'm going to take the darker matte purple shade. And I'm going to put that all right here like the outer corner and then up in the crease now I'm gonna take another brush I think I'll just take this brush it's just like a flat angled brush. I think it's meant angled liner brush is what it's called. Um, I'm gonna take that darker matte purple and I'm gonna line my lash line. Kinda wanna try adding more of that purple.
Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is I am going to take this shimmer. It's like duochrome kind of. Um, it's like purple with like some blue, pinky. I don't know. But I'm just picking some up on my um, finger and I'm putting it all over. With the fallout of this one on the shimmers, it's a lot more and it does stick more. Like it's gonna be on there. I don't know if you can even tell, but just so you know. Um, then I'm gonna take the lighter, like pinky shimmery shade and I'm doing that on the inner corners. And then I'm bringing that in. There you go. I'm gonna take a little bit of that lighter one too and just put it like right in the middle. Look how pretty that is, like, oh, so good. Okay, now I'm going to take this Flexitarian highlight do a little bit on the cheeks. On the chin. A little bit here. And then I'm gonna take the, oh wait, first I'm, before I start using Flexitarian by ColourPop, I'm gonna go back into the Tarte palette and use both those highlighters on my brow bone. And then with Flexitarian, I'm going to go in. And then um, go in with the Flexitarian from ColourPop. And just boost that a little bit. And there. That's the eyeshadow. I swear, Gabby spoils me. And I'm gonna tell her to watch this, so she'll be seeing this. She usually watches my videos anyways. Now, so this is from the Hocus Pocus collection too, and I'm like debating on if I should put some on my cheeks or not. I think I will. I don't know how I feel about it, guys. <laughs> you know what would have been cool is to do, like, tear type stuff with it. I'm probably going to do that in the future. So, my neighbor got m some makeup that she, like, already had these products or, like, the eyeshadow palette she didn't, wasn't a fan of. So, she gave it to me. Um, and it's the Bobbi Brown stuff. And I was like... I've always wanted to try Bobbi Brown, but, like, I've never, like, actually purchased anything. So, um, yeah, I got the mascara, and I tried it the other day, and I freaking obsessed. So thanks, Mache, for that. I don't know if she watches my videos, actually, but if you do, I'm freaking obsessed with this mascara, like, So that's the final look. And see, like, the purple is just like specks of purple, so I don't know how I feel about it, but it looks cool here. Um, kind of giving me like mermaid fairy vibes. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Um, bye.